Hey everyone, my name is Drew and we are here. This is going to be week 9 of our PTPL matches and this is going to be a rematch up against our rival Sparrows. And uh, our first match went pretty darn well. Uh, who knows what's going to happen this time. I do have a decently different team. My mods are the same, but I definitely have a very different team and very different concepts behind this one. I'm hoping that I'm not going to be predictable from what I brought last time. That was kind of my thinking behind it. I did love that Scarfed Feeny was able to come through last time, but this time I have something that I think will catch him off guard in the same way, but this time we see the Cresselia, Komala, Mandibuzz, Kartana, Koma-O, and Manectric. So pretty much an entirely different team from what I saw last time. This is pretty nuts how different this team is, but... It's still a team that I think we can handle pretty decently well. No Mimikyu. I discouraged him from bringing the Mimikyu. It's just kind of wild, in all honesty. But uh, it's not a team that Shaman handles quite as well. I honestly maybe want to lead off with my Metagross here. Metagross seems like a solid lead all around. Maybe Zygarde? Okay, so three of my mods are exactly the same. My Infernape, my Zygarde, and my Shaman are exactly the same sets. No Needle King, which is pretty interesting. But but the other three mods are completely different. Completely different. Okay, what am I thinking? Does he have rocks? He might have the Coma O. Does he have removal? He has the Manda Buzz. Okay, I think I'm just gonna lead Shaman honestly. Shaman doesn't beat his team the way that it did last time, and I think. Shaman is an okay lead overall. And in all honesty, I'm I'm definitely never gonna be the type of guy that uh that tries to like conceal my sets and like uh build a team because I know we're gonna rematch later, build like a lesser team because I know we're gonna rematch later, but uh I gave away a little uh, quite a bit of spice from when I just showed my team after our last match. Um I thought it was a pretty fun team and it did get us the win, but uh it did make me want to build really differently, and I'm not sure how this is going to go. So, leads off with a Manectric. Let me think about this for a second. Let me think about this for a second. Uh, I'm going to get Flamethrower, but I feel like we take that okay. If we can take one hit, then getting a Seed Flare off on this thing, that prior damage would be absolutely huge. And like I said, um, Shaman doesn't beat his team the way that it did last time. Um... Realistically, it would just be for the coma o maybe. But let me see. I feel like we take one. Fine. Mega Manetric, all-out attacker. So we should take an overheat. We take we take a timid overheat. I'm not sure if we take a an, a modest overheat. But Seed Flare just does so much damage. I, I can also get a Tailwind off. Yeah, getting a Tailwind off. Is going to be pretty huge. Let's see if he stays in. He does stay in. Does he just Volt Switch? I feel, mm, I feel like it might Volt Switch. I feel like he would want to expect me to switch in the situation. I'm not sure what my main switch in would be. I guess, realistically, it might be the Zygarde, but I don't know. He does go for the Volt Switch, so I do get the Freeze of Tailwinds off. I am really curious to see whether he goes into the Kartana, because I do... I'm going to be better at speed his entire team. Um... Even if this Kartana is Scarfed, we will outspeed that under Tailwind. Um, but this is the Mandibuzz. Okay. So I kind of do wish that I had gone for the Seed Flare, but... I guess we have to see whether or not Dazzling Gleam would be a 2 hit KO. Otherwise, it might not be worth it. I'm going to assume max HP, max defense. I feel like I have to. It's close to a 2 KO. And if he takes a turn to, to attack me, then... I could take my chances with Seed Flare as well. But I feel like Dazzling Gleam is the way to go for the first turn. There's a Dazzling Gleam. Does around the amount of damage that I would expect. Actually, it goes for the Toxic. But actually, I should have that up. Just to make sure that I'm not seeing anything incorrectly, um, max HP Mandibuzz was was 41 to 48 percent, which is about right for what I should expect here. I don't want to give up my Shaman unnecessarily, 
So part of me just really wants to go into my Metagross here. I feel like... I feel like now... Mm, no, Dazzling Gleam is still the 3-hit KO. Does that give him a switch in anything? It gives him a switch into the Cartana, but he wouldn't want to do that. The only thing... Maybe the Cresselia, possibly? I'm gonna just Dazzling Gleam again. If he goes into the Cresselia, then that's when we gamble with Seed Flare, I think. Um... Yeah, I, I don't like giving up Shaman this way, but damage on his team, gambling with that Seed Flare chance, I think is going to be worth it in the long run. I don't know. The main thing is that um, it kind of stops him from getting anything going, really. So it's not like he's going to be getting a free Swords Dance up with Kartana or anything like that. Um... Or, like, free Dragon Dances up with Coma, which is a huge, huge concern right now. Or should be. Um, I guess that's what I should be concerned with more, so I guess this is the better for the longer run. Especially since I don't see the Shaman as a huge, like, late-game win con. I, I have to imagine going to Cresselia. Yeah, okay. So. Let's see. That's about 20%. No leftovers, which is interesting. But I have to just click Seed Flare. Seed Flare does a whole lot of damage. There goes the Seed Flare. Do we get the drop? We don't. And the Calm Mind is going to get him out of Seed Flare range, but... I don't think I care. I really don't think I care. No matter what, as long as my Seed Flares can do enough, and and my Seed Flares can threaten those special defense drops, then theoretically Zygarde comes in and uh, can potentially clean this thing up, especially since this thing has to attack me eventually. I guess it doesn't have to attack me eventually. It can just Calm Mind up until until I just take myself out to Poison. It can Calm Mind and Moonlight, I should say. But again, it's kind of risky. It's kind of risky at this point. And it looks like this is max HP. I'm going to guess max defense. If I had to guess... And goes for another Calm Mind. Oh, man, now I'm super risking a miss as well. This is super dubious. This is super dubious. Is there any switch that's worth making right now? I don't think so. I have to get a special defense drop in honesty. Or a crit, I guess. I don't know, man. We do get the special defense drop. So back at neutral, as he goes for the rest. So it's a Chesto Berry set. Which is interesting. I'm going to take myself out, but you're at neutral special defense. This might just beat me outright. This might just 6 0 me. This might just 6 me. <laughs> um, okay, I honestly really want to go into the Metagross and just, like, Toxic this thing. Um. And my Metagross doesn't really apply that much offensive pressure because it is a more defensive set, but... I just... Uh, this is actually bad. Goes for the Shadow Ball. Is it plus two? We take that fine. Okay. Okay. We miss a toxic. We miss a toxic. Okay. And now he knows that if he has sub, then he's going to reveal that. He's revealed Calm Mind, Rest, Shadow Ball. Has to have Psychic, I bet, right? Has to have Psychic, I bet. Does he? Maybe he doesn't. I don't know. If he has sub, then I think he just beats me, but I'm gonna click Toxic, I suppose. Goes for another Shadow Ball. Maybe Shadow Ball is his only attack. Well, no. He would've gone for... He would've gone for something else if that were the case. I missed another Toxic. Okay. This is a 6-0. This is a 
he gets my Metagross. Uh, there's nothing I can really do about this at this point. Um, I guess the best that I can do is... Nope. Zygarde's not going to do anything because this thing has to be max defense. Zygarde's not going to do anything. Uh, what do I do? I could possibly... What's my full Finny set? I think it's just three attacks, defog. Mm. If I can... If I can U-turn from Infernape into Zygarde, that'd be giving up Zygarde. What would I U-turn into? I would U-turn into Fanny. Then I just pump Moonblast? No, I can't do that because... Well, okay, I, I could call the Calm Mind and double switch. I guess Infernape has to be the play. My only thinking here is that I can gauge damage off of this U-turn and then... He has to... He has to... Attack me with a Psychic move right now. Does about 25%. I think that confirms max defense. Yeah, that confirms max defense. But I can go into my Feeny right now. And my Feeny's not going to do anything. This thing is at neutral. But we should be able to beat out the Shadow Ball. Uh, or the Psychic. We see the Moon Blast. Okay, interesting. Okay, interesting. Moon Blast and Shadow Ball are your offensive moves. Moon Blast and Shadow Ball are your offensive moves, but you're at plus two. So you're going to Calm Mind again. Which should allow me to double back into my Infernape? Or would the play be to go into Zygarde here? Zygarde needs Dragon Dances to do anything. Yeah, I think the play is to just go back into Infernape here. And it's really going to hurt Infernape because I need the Infernape for the Kartana. Otherwise, Kartana beats me in the late game. But we take one hit guaranteed. I think, yeah, and realistically, you have to go for Calm Mind here. Um, and this is a special Infernape. So now you're at plus three and plus one. I have to just click U-turn. And... What, what's Zygarde doing right now? Zygarde gets destroyed. And this is literally the one time that I bring a, a Tapu Fini that doesn't have Calm Mind on it. Literally. If I can get a little bit more damage onto this thing, then Zygarde Thousand Arrows. Zygarde Thousand Arrows could clean this up. I have to click Moonblast. <sighs> this is actually awful. Special, special attack drop is a thing, but if he special attack drops me, then that's pretty bad. Okay, not quite yet. I'm not even paying attention to damage. I know that the only way that I get out of this is with a, is with a thousand arrows. I'm not even banded or anything. I'm jolly Zygarde. This is not great. 
I have to get this thing down to less than a quarter. Just for a thousand arrows to have a chance. Otherwise, I have to outrage into this thing. Which would be really bad because uh, it just invites in the Manectric. And if he calls me and goes for a rest... Uh, I do get another special attack drop. He could go for a rest right now. I think he has to go for a rest right now. So what does that mean? I can try to set up with Zygarde? But if I switch in Zygarde aggressively, then that's pretty bad for me. But, hold on, hold on, hold on. The fact that this na is now dropped to plus one means that my Infernape, that I can play slightly risky with my Infernape, Actually, no, he's going to click Moonblast, so that's really bad. He knows that he has to rest right now. He knows that he has to rest right now. If Zygarde gets two Dragon Dances up, then I'm barely doing anything still. I feel like I have to make the call and go into an, and go into uh, Zygarde right now. I have to go into Zygarde right now. But that's such a huge risk. But he has to go for rest, right? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. If he calls it, he calls it, I guess. Just goes for the moon blast. Okay. Fair enough. We take it. We take it. My special attack drops, but a thousand arrows at neutral should take it out. It actually looks like there's a slight chance that he does take it, but at this point, what am I going to do? And I do have one final hit before... I get taken- nope, okay, it survives. Does it go for rest? Did you click rest? Goes for the moon blast, okay. I think it- I, I think it took pity on me, because he knows if he rests and he six owes me. I think that was pity. Uh, okay, fair enough, fair enough. But now I have to outspeed this thing. And... Necrozma can't do that. The only thing I can do that with is my Infernape. And I feel yeah, the only play here is to is to U-turn. <sighs> Literally all I wanted was to click Toxic, then click Stealth Rocks, let Metagross go down. And I'd be fine. Goes into this thing. This actually really makes me want to go into... Ooh, that's a, that's a crit. Jesus. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This actually really makes me want to go into... See? Okay. No. No, I can't. I want to go into... Necrozma my real bad right now, but man, not having rocks is going to, to genuinely be the end of me right now. Um, what can I do here? What can I do here? I think, unfortunately, it's still too early for Necrozma. Because I, I'm going to get walled by... I'm going to kind of get walled by the Mandibuzz, but I'm... The Komala is the actual issue. And that sucks to say. <laughs> that sucks.
I'm not Wakanbe or anything like that. If he wants to take me out, he's going to take me out. Goes for the Vault Switch. I don't think we take that. We're super specially defensive. We don't. It's fine. Um, Man, I cannot believe. Manectric. Just, just for science. Manectric Volt Switch does about half. 44 to 50% to a Tapu Fini. But he has to reveal first. There's no way he goes into Komala. Uh, there's no way he goes into Kartana. Uh, maybe Koma owes his play. But I do have... I know. Koma O can't be. It's this thing. He knows that Vacuum Wave is the play. Maybe he just wants to sack off... He knows that I have Vacuum Wave. Maybe he wants to take the opportunity just to sack off Cresselia? I have to Vacuum Wave. He's gonna go into Cresselia just to sack it off, but... He knows my whole thing with this thing. And there, and, and, I, and I don't think there's any way that uh, this thing takes a vacuum wave. Man, I would have been, so, I would have been fine with that toxic dude. Well, okay, so he could have. He was gonna rest up on me anyway. Well, no, wasn't that after the rest? Yeah, I think it was because he had already set up with Calm Minds. Yeah, because he had recovered all the damage that Shaman did. Yeah, because Shaman did a whole bunch of damage and then he rested off that damage. And then I couldn't toxic him, which, yeah, okay, okay. He knows that I vacuum maybe. <sighs> Come on, he. He has to sack off the Cresselia here, right? Unless he wants to rest up on my Necrozma, which he absolutely can do. He's 100% free to do that, but, uh... Actually, unless he just wants to 6-0 me. If he wants to 6-0 me, then, uh, maybe he's calcing out. There's a Vacuum Wave. Chobbleberry. Okay. Okay. No, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, now I get super taken out. However, being Chalkberry means that he can't be... Means that he cannot be... <sighs> well, no, now at plus one. Okay, realistically, I don't think Kartana threatens a KO at with a plus one knockoff, but who knows, it might. It might. In all, in honesty, it might, and I might just get get six would right now. Knock off against my Necrozma at plus one. It threatens a KO if adamant. But you know what? What am I gonna do? <laughs> if I get six would, I get six would. Goes for the withdrawal. That's interesting. Sends out this thing. This is absolutely in range for Power Gem to knock out. But no, Komala wins. Ko Komala wins a, ma wins a match for him. Maybe it doesn't. Wait, no. Maybe maybe I'm bulky enough to take a hit from Komala and hit it twice. But I'm going to do damage to myself with... With, uh... Life Orb. But I had to be Life Orb to ensure some KOs on some things. If this thing's defensive, which I have to imagine it is, then Power Gem might not be a KO. But it also might be. It's not. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. I just lose. Goes for the Roost. I think he thought that it didn't have a move to hit him with. But uh, he can't take another one. And maybe he just stays in for the life orb recoil, but realistically he would want to go into Cresselia, maybe the Komala to take it. But I don't know, man. I don't know. Realistically, I don't even know if if I can Oko Ko, uh, Komo. 
lets me take out the Mandibuzz. So actually, yeah, he was definitely going for the 6-0 there. Okay. I mean, what are you going to do, right? What can you do? Okay, Photon Geyser should 100% Oko a Como O. It goes into this thing, man. Komala, yeah, Komala beats me. Komala 100% beats me. I can't even Oko a blank set. And it can it can banded last resort me right now. Oh no, it's actually a little bit more defensive. It might not I might take a hit. Okay, okay. I think everything else gets O code. Everything else gets O code. I don't I don't think I take life orb recoil. Yeah, I don't take five rounds of life orb recoil. Definitely not. But I bring the differential down, I guess. Ghost <sighs> Sparrows. Okay, well, Necrozma could have won it. Necrozma could have won it. Okay. That's gonna be the match. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I really did think that my Necrozma could have won. So, no, so Necrozma 100% Oko's the, the Como O. It um, definitely takes out the Manectric from the range it was at. Definitely takes out a non scarfed um, Kartana, and Cresselia was down low. Necrozma actually beat his entire team. That was, this is the set that was designed to beat his entire team, and yeah, I had to give up way too much to get rid of that Cresselia. If I could just find some way of dealing damage to that Komala, then I could have won that one. I don't know, man. I don't even know what to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with more weeks of the BGBL and more weeks of the SBN. We'll have other really cool things soon. We're gonna have the minor Pokemon League as well as the UBL really, really soon, but uh, other than that, I'll be once again out.